Welcome back to the scrum, December 16th. Nice, nailed the date that Sorry, time, dude. Well, that's because I asked earlier. And that's I true. It up, so. Excellent memory. Yeah, from a little bit ago. <laughs> back in short term. Excellent. And that's the important stuff, right? For sure. What are you drinking there? Dude, this is a, a LaCroix. A LaCroix. LaCroix. That says LaCroix. LaCroix. That says LaCroix. <laughs> like the videos. Like the. <laughs> LaCroix. What are you drinking? Little Mountain Dew Voltage, taking me back to senior year of high school. You know nice, what I'm saying? Dude. He's drinking on Voltage, man. Do you remember when we had those on can on deck? Dude, I remember that. In the that. garage fridge. Dude, we had that studio. Oh, was, I was, sodas in was the garage fridge. Thing. This is some real first world shit. <laughs> <laughs> F- fucking sodas in the garage fridge. Any beverage in a garage refrigerator. It's the best beverage it really is. that you like, can have. Dude, an orange soda out of the garage fridge, dude, on like a hot summer day. Oh, I mean, baby. that's just like, it, there's oh, literally baby. just nothing better. I remember, uh, I can't remember the guy's name off top, but one of your one of your friends ruined it for us. Cause I'm like, not gonna say his name. Not gonna right, say his yeah. name. He like he came over and would drink like half a soda, go down and get another, drink like half a soda, go down and get another. And I think I don't remember if it was your mom or dad who found probably, him. Probably Tom. And was like, you know what the fuck is this? Obviously, because that's crazy. And but then every t- the fridge was locked whenever like your dad went to bed or whatever it was. So every time I came over, it was like, damn, dude, no more like midnight they, they, soda. They did put a lock on the fridge. Why you gotta make it dark? It wasn't dark. I was just, you know, they locked us out of the fridge. They locked it, but both fridges. That made them taste even better when you did get them, right? (laughs) Thanks. Thanks. You're welcome, dude. Good times. (laughs) Um, Yo, so now that we're all here and we've all seen The Mandalorian, now that we've all seen The Mandalorian, all of us, all three of us, what do we think? Well, it says Dylan. It's freshest on his mind. Also, too, did we talk about the uh, the Disney Investors Day with all the releases of the Star Wars? And we did, we did. That oh. was the name Psh. of the episode. You right? Which you should go check out on all. Streaming I guess it's services. hard to remember because we didn't get to talk about Mando because you're a fuck boy. Hey, um, but what'd you think? Uh, it was it was sick. It was really dope. Bill Burr was incredible in it. Yeah. Um, <coughs> like it wasn't like the gravity of it wasn't as big as the last two episodes. But it was just like a great back to like what made the show so good in season one, just like light serial, and then yeah, that whole plot line with uh, teaming up with what's his name Mayfield, Bill Burr's character. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was great. Ex Imperial, big fan of him, and like see, just seeing him like act was really cool and all that shit. Definitely and the scene where spoiler alert, scene where he fucking shoots homeboy in the chest. Yes, that shit yep. was. Sick. Yeah, for like sure. Fucking right. <clears throat> it's pretty badass, and uh, I don't know. Like Boba Fett's just part of his crew. It's fucking yeah. sick. I was telling Megan like, and you Dude, were saying mm-hmm. it's less uh, like action, not action, but less uh, was like consequence heavy and stuff like that. Fucking, I was telling Megan once they took Baby Yoda, like you're not gonna see that fucker for the next like three episodes. Yeah, you know what I mean, dude. When but when Boba stepped out of the ship and like the armor was like cleaned or whatever, oh, dude, bro. that shit dude, was so I hard. Was... I was like, yes, bro. Oh, man. That shit it. looks. That was sick. Yeah, that was hard. Yeah, I guess yeah, because we didn't talk about the last one before that either. We did. Put... We did. We talked briefly about it. Man, fuck, man. All right, see, it's the short term memory you're good with, not the long term. You know, what it's I'm not saying? the long short term. Yeah, <laughs> it's the midterm that is the, the issue. midterm. <laughs> you remember the Fuck. soda fridge getting locked? You remember the episode from 30 minutes ago? But like those days between ago things. Blur. Yes, the between is a blur. <laughs> um, I'm just so excited for the future of this show. Yeah, it's just it just gets better and better every episode. Every season, even yeah. if it's the second season, and like halfway I, through, and like the but like building the lore of it, and I'm not even up on all that, Facts. but the building the lore of it is just so cool. Because like hearing y'all talk about the shit, it's like oh, like that character it ties was linked to so this much character. continuity yeah. together, and it makes everything make so much more sense, and it makes up for so many blunders and plot holes. Um, not just like what the seasons have done with Mando, but fucking. Like Rogue One, mm-hmm. for example, and little things they include from the Clone Wars um, to help kind of like, you know, like the Clone Wars did such justice for Hayden Christensen's, quote, bad acting. Yeah. Just because the way like people talked about how Anakin turned into this fucking whiny whatever the fuck. Yeah. But, like they, they did so much in Clone Wars to help back up 
those emotions that you don't see how they kind of came out. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so I don't know. Kind of justifies the character the way he played it. <laughs> exactly. That's cool. That's, I, I that's, still kind of want to go back and like watch Dave that. That's all on Dave Filoni. Me too. It's hard to it's hard to get into. Just because it's so. It's a little. Wasn't it Disney XD or whatever at the? I think that's Rebels. Oh, yeah, that's okay. Rebels, which is okay. even more like fucking. I, the original like. Non 3D animated one was on Cartoon Network. But yeah, this newest. But that's one, not. They don't consider that like canon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Although that shit was fire. That shit was, that was fire. My, that was my shit. Yeah, you can't even find those anymore. Didn't that have like a really sick online game too? That I think version? so. Probably. Yeah. Back when that's how <laughs> that was a big part of games. Game. Yeah, Cartoon Flash Network games. had them games. They did. Cartoon Network did. and Disney Channel. They did. Disney Channel had them games. Remember Mini Clip? Oh, Which one was that? Yeah. You don't remember and you don't because that shit was because yeah. you could get, get a fucking flash game website which how do you oh because you oh, could get it was, like, it was that the one, one that was one. blue and orange uh yeah, yeah, yeah mini clip yeah because yeah, 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 yeah. you could get onto that one like on the school computers couldn't you wasn't that one of the them. yeah mm-hmm. the flash i was always games on game slot game slot and a uh, game shield i was always on mm-hmm. game, I don't know game shield that's that's after my time <laughs> game slot that shit game slot was that game slot was those with those that boobs it was um the shouts out mando though for real. Shouts out, Mando. Uh, so, today. What, before we move past it, do please. you guys know how many episodes are no, left in the... I don't. So I, I have no I idea either. 10 last season, and this was episode six. Seven. Shit. Seven. seven. Shit. So, if we're going by your do, your uh, prediction, dude, we're not going to see Yoda the rest of the season. At Probably. least not with Mando. So, like, the last episode or some shit. Probably. And then be, like, a season cliffhanger. <laughs> what if we see him? <laughs> and, like... He's got like a like he goes full you went full Sith while we didn't see him <laughs> but like so he comes out with like the hood and shit yeah. but it's like he's, he's dying, still baby Yoda dude baby that'd be Yoda so baby Sith hood he's, 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 he can only games. like shock people to I was about to say they saw, saw funny games so he forced lightnings your shit <laughs> turns you into barbecue dude that shit when Yoda was just throwing the guards around and uh, when he was in captivity mm. like he's still he's holding Moff Gideon's hand to be like wearing the robes. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want. I don't want this to be the case, man. <laughs> don't do Grogu like that. So are they all? They're terrible. gonna run back into those other Mandalorians, right? When they meet up with Moff Gideon, they're gonna. Bogey. They're gonna be coming Bogey for the Dark Saber and, and the Death Watch. They're gonna be coming for the Dark Sabers. Mando's gonna dark need saber. the Dark Saber for something. I feel like. Well, so the Dark a Saber Mando standoff. The, the Dark Saber is is a symbol of the leadership of the man of the mm-hmm. Mandalorians. Yeah, yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? So like. For him to for him to possess it, he would have to take some ownership <clears throat> of the of the whole. So the whole is, there, bank, is there which I don't think he's about. Is their planet their planet still like populated, right? Or like who? I don't know if the planet even still exists at this point in the Star Wars universe. But the but the Mandalore like species population itself is like completely dis- dispersed and so like why she want to be state. leader so bad? <clears throat> well, she wants to she wants to recreate it because if you oh, also okay. know she's like. She's like not really with the traditional shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like I think for her, you don't even have to be a fucking Mandalorian to be a Mandalorian. It's kind of her uh, philosophy. So you can, you know, essentially repopulate the by like recruitment. Essentially. Yeah. Okay. I mean that, at least that that's my perception. This is also someone who's just like sort of aware of her lore within yeah. the universe. I haven't because she's heavy in Clone Wars. This is a Clone Wars character. They brought it. I don't. I don't really know, but I think that's pretty much her true. Deal. So they're they're gonna team up then to get get. They're gonna meet up before they're they're both yeah. on the way to. Because she was in the shit. Team up. She was in the shit when fucking Darth Maul tried to take over the uh, the Mandalore shit. Oh. She was like part of that shit, like trying to overthrow Maul. So like Maul was like in charge of the Mandos, and she was like, Nah. Yeah. She's n- not not on my watch. Yeah. Some shit like that. So they're gonna go from off Gideon. He'll be like, "I want the baby. You get the dark saber. We're all good." Mm-hmm. Bill Burr shows up. It's gonna be mm-hmm. awesome. It's gonna be mm-hmm. a great finale. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> but dude, bigger bigger news. The gr- the great integration happened. The, the great, great merger, integration. The great so, yeah. integration. So, so what? <laughs> so Cold War, War Zone, Modern Warfare. They all meet. In a big fuck around today, <laughs> uh, or last night, or this morning at eleven specific time, whatever that is, like one a.m. Eastern, something like that. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so I mean, I played a lot today. Okay, played a lot today. Happened to have today. I just so just so happened to have today off, and I played a good amount of it. Uh, I, I'm torn. 
I'm really torn. The the new guns they added is sick. Mm-hmm. The one thing that is weird, there's two AK-47. Yeah, there's, there's two yeah. MP5s. There's two M4s. So every gun that they have in Cold War that is also in Modern Warfare, everything just has the logo next to it now of which yeah. which which game it's from. A little weird. I, I mean, like, I figure, like, I'm glad they added all those guns, but, yeah. like, pick one of the two models. Yeah. Just weird. It's, and, you know, and they all have different attachments and stuff. Like, that's what I thought. I thought they were just going to, the guns that were in both, they you were just going to see a shit ton more attachments show up, and that's how they were going to do it. But I You can know. only use Cold War attachments on Cold War guns yeah. and Modern Warfare attachments on Modern Warfare guns. Yeah. Well, the gun... Are the gun stats the same, or are they different? So the stats, the Jacob was telling me, the stats that they ported over into Modern Warfare Warzone don't relate to the stats that the guns have in Cold War. Probably because they're trying to balance them against the guns they are currently in yeah. Warzone, but nonetheless, they, don't, they didn't translate one to one. And it seems like they are, on the whole, a lot of them are worse. Like, it seems like... To it's, the point, with the exception of like three. Like yeah, they, that's the thing is I think they, as is the case, yeah. season to season, they've they buffed a couple, and those are like meta now. Yeah, and it seems like whether though the lot of them are worse, like a lot of those guns shit on the modern warfare guns, which, as we were saying, you're gonna have to fucking yeah get cold war to fucking grind. I mean, those are, they, are, are they shitting on the kilo and R nine though? Because like just from obviously I've been able I to play it. I can tell you this today. much: I've seen way less R nines. Yeah, I'm, w- I'm wondering to see how it levels out after, because everyone's hype right now. You know, everyone who's been spending time grinding Cold War is like, let me let me come shit on all these Warzone players who you know didn't buy Cold War. They're going to be running around with base guns and their loadouts. Let me come show them what's good. But I'm waiting to s- I want to see how it all balances out. Yeah, I mean out. you're 100 percent right. And with <clears throat> the with the patch, they didn't do any gun nerfs or buffs. Yeah. at least they didn't release any. Yeah, and they I'm probably sure they did will. a couple. They probably did a couple of behind the scenes, but yeah. They, yeah, they didn't release any. They will undoubtedly. It makes sense too because you just want to bring these guns over. <clears throat> they have whatever stats they have. Let them see how they all like mesh together, and then maybe nerf whatever. Yeah, you know, and then you can yeah, nerf yeah. the R nine into the ground. Let the community figure it out. Now you were telling me, I was under the impression it was going to be a full on war zone map change, and you were telling me that what's up game with mode? gaming. And fucking this whole false bill of goods shit, man. Yeah. Like, it's becoming more and more common where, like, they can, like... False advertisement is, like, a norm these days. Yeah. It really no, it's is. it's expected. They told us. They told us a brand new Warzone map. And that, guess what, Dylan? We got a new Warzone map. Uh-huh. <laughs> but guess what else? What? It's a game mode. <laughs> it's, a, it's a game <laughs> mode. You, know, you have no time invested, so you, like, are incapable of caring. <laughs> You think I'm being sarcastic? No, like that's. How would he not be in sarcastic? Not being sarcastic. You, you, you sound sarcastic, did he not? Well, I mean, he, he doesn't sarcastic. know the the full extent of it yet. I mean, I saw what you were saying earlier. That that. Mm, so you, oh, so that, you're patronizing that, me? That, that no, that mmm <laughs> was me being like, damn, that's silly. He's going, Fuck you. He's calling you silly, dude. He is calling. He's calling me silly. <laughs> I really feel like he's calling me silly. Fuck you. That's crazy. That's crazy. Jacob's the devil. I'm literally, like, yeah. I'm literally like all on your side. About it. Like I was always on your like literally. So, dude, I was always on your side about it. Please believe now, me. Now, like, I want every map to be a game mode. Like, <laughs> you want to play on this map, you got to go I just want to be awful just, for you. They just turn Warzone into another, multi, like, regular multiplayer. Like, it's just <laughs> Dude, they even say when you go to pick this map to play. Like, I was sitting there playing with Jordan trying to figure out how to open it, and I couldn't find it. You, you were saying, too, That's like, how saying. do I get in there? It's because it's not, it's not listed anywhere other than this game mode button. And like, you hit literally- that, and it takes you into the map. So it's it's a smaller map, and this is the best part. They did. I don't believe they ever said this was how it was going to be. They just said like they confirmed yeah. that Rebirth Island was going to be the thing. But I've seen the pictures. We all saw the pictures and the leaks and stuff. We all a lot of people know it from Blackout. They obviously remodeled it and changed it slightly for this shit. But I'm looking at these pictures. I'm like, yo, that motherfucker don't look big. How are you gonna yeah, have? Yeah, that's like, my. That was my thought like, too. Like the scale looks wild. These must be some big buildings for yeah. it to have 150 people. No, it's a 40 person map, which so, is even uh, smaller than Mini Royale, right? Uh, maybe I think maybe it was 50, so like 10. Yeah. you know, splitting hairs, I guess almost. But yeah, like fucking it's. And they even say when you go to pick it, a Mini Royale style. Yeah, and it's trios only. Which I mean, trios is probably my favorite of the. You can turn Warzone Phil on and off, but like, yeah, like still. Yeah, like, you're playing three. You're playing a team of three. And so, and you respawn. So there's no gulag. You respawn, 
which they have these game modes that kind of act in a similar way, or they've done game modes in the past that act in a similar way, where, like, it's for dance, which is huge, and they just shrink the base circle. What's the difference here? You know, new buildings? That's mm-hmm. You're giving me some new buildings in a small circle? And they get, had, like, one, of those, the, one of those loot systems similar to their Halloween uh, game mode. Thing. Yeah. But it's, like, things you, instead of things you have to find, it's things you have to do. And It's, it's like, like a mission thing. Yeah, it's like pilot a vehicle but for good luck doing minutes. that when the fucking map is just crammed with people. Yeah. And, again, there's respawns. The cool thing about the respawn system that I do like is that with it you, you have, like, 30-second respawn timer. But if you get kills, it takes time off that respawn timer. And as long as anyone in your team is alive, you will respawn. So, like, that's the idea is don't get team wiped and you'll keep playing. And, you know, that's how you – and the circle still gets smaller like it does. I think it's too fucking hectic. Yeah. I like As a lot of those game modes end up being. Right. And so it's just like if you have that, why don't I just play Plunder? Yeah. You know, you gave me this new map to play Plunder on it. Yeah, that's how, and you get mad loot. So that feels like plunder. It feels like there's just like no pressure, deathmatch style game mode. Yeah. Everyone's fucking using different shit. You pick. I don't know. It's a nice. It's a cool map. Yeah, I like the map layout. It's just like it's just it's just half baked. Yeah, it really seems half baked. Yeah, I'm hope. I'm really am hoping they do more with the regular Warzone map because I mean you have to. You know what I mean? Like yeah, especially after the promises. I did see. In regular war zone, got the new gulag, which looks kind of cool. It's kind of like Nuketown. It's fire. So yeah. it's 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 like a prop set of Nuketown. Yeah, it's so awesome. I do like the gulag. However, the weapons in this first season so far have been uh, pistols and shotguns. Mm. So fuck me, right? Yeah. Um, and but the yeah. helicopters have chopper gunners on them. Yeah, now. they added fucking mini guns to the size of the choppers, which uh, which is cool. Good balance. I was saying we we've been talking about it forever. Like how, like you couldn't even set up like the turrets on the back of the truck where it's like yeah, like that kind of shit. You should totally be able to do. So it, it's a good. It's stat. a nice balancing tool. And the, my only complaint with those so far is they're they're too loud. Like you can hear them from all over the map off rip. So like, really, they're too loud. They're just but it is good because you're kind of exposed up there in a chopper. Like well, and the thing is too with those you're thinking like well fuck now like kids are just gonna fly around beam kids you're s- what? Yeah. <laughs> for real but you're like met like before if you're sitting in the chopper you're like tucked in the side with legs hanging out now you're like hanging off exposed on the side mm. so like you're also easier to shoot you know? everybody or just the gunner the gunners okay you see what i'm saying so yeah. like it's it, it's a good it's a balance i i don't hate it because before you see choppers you're just like oh, i'm gonna shoot this down yeah and you're just uh, everyone's like yo fuck. beam it now, yeah now you got something to fight back yeah. with and nice makes you not want to get that thing's attention maybe yeah no it's not bad I don't know if I never really kept up with it, but the storyline of Warzone, did they just did they just like bail on whatever Modern Warfare <clears throat> was doing? Because it felt like they Modern Warfare just left the nuke lane under the whole map, and then so, they were just like, you know. So, <laughs> so, it's funny you say that because I don't know. Yeah. But the you know how they do like intro scenes for each season. I did, and I watched the intro scene. It was pretty sick. Okay, well, cool. It's the same thing when you when you turn on Black Ops. Okay. I bought Black Ops, opened it, and got the same intro scene. So I don't know what's going on. <laughs> it's this, I guess it's. I guess now it's just the Black Ops story, bro. I could not tell you. Damn. I could not tell you, and I don't play the campaign, so I don't know. Huh? Yeah. No idea. There you go. They probably did. I would. I guess they did just fucking abandon. Well, and Black like, was talking about like the idea with the whole nuke thing was that it would nuke Verdansk, hence the new map to yeah. replace it. But no. Yeah, That's or not, I thought at least... Maybe it's going to happen later. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I mean, I, they probably will, right? Now that Warzone's its own game, it's sitting there. And it seems like maybe this, like the intro video is just kind of maybe affect the very birth island thing. I don't know. That's actually all it was about. Now that I, yeah, that's actually it all. It was just for the just for Rebirth Island. Uh, yeah. So yeah, when I and again when I turned on Black Ops, that's, maybe there's a different like cinematic when you open other game modes. But that was the multiplayer cinematic uh, for Black Ops. Damn. So I don't know what the fuck's going on. Seems like they don't either, you know? Bro, exactly. <laughs> that's a problem. That's a problem. Like we were saying with, like, the gun integration, it just seems... And I'm sure it'll get ironed out eventually, but... The gun integration's not bad. It's like, it's just like one thing right, one thing wrong. Yeah. You know what I mean? And I don't know. People wanted the new map more than they wanted all the new guns, I think. Like, I, I think, think if you gave I the think. community a choice... I would have said, you We're know. We're talking about the Warzone community. Yeah, the like, Warzone Not the fucking community. Black Ops community, not the Call of Duty community as a whole. The Warzone community wanted a new map more than anything yeah. else. They wanted the R9 nerfed, they wanted a new map, yeah. and 
they got not one of those things, and they got, like, I would say, like, 30% of the other thing. Yeah. Yeah. Because most of those guns are never going to get touched in. Yeah. So, under, are... like, underwhelmed is just, like, the word. Yeah. For, like... I don't even have any of them unlocked, because I haven't, like, touched the game since yeah. and it so, happened, and so you'll... I came in at the zero level. You come in at zero level, and as you level up, some of the guns unlock just by being at a certain level. Yeah. Like, not even just in the battle pass, but just at a certain level. And then, uh... Yeah. Did you see also the guns uh, that got ported over, people that, like, had them max level? Uh... <laughs> People that had it max level, like there would be a bunch of attachments that weren't unlocked, camos that weren't unlocked on the guns that they had gri- already grinded in Cold War or ground in Cold yeah. War. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And a lot of people are having all kinds of bugs, which you expect. I mean, yeah. Really. But the, t- on top of everything else, it was sweaty. Was it? Oh, it was sweaty. We Everyone got our shit back. packed in. The best game we had out of like a million drops was like a fucking fourth place duos. And Jordan had and I each had like five and six kills. <laughs> fucking rough, dude. <laughs> And did you get any close close to winning any on uh, Rebirth Island? Not even. Not even a little bit. I couldn't, dude. I couldn't tell you what was going on. <laughs> Didn't <laughs> learn like, the fuck, map. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Didn't. Yeah, too much. Too much. It's too much. Facts. I only went inside like two buildings that whole time because I couldn't make it far enough across the fucking map. Yeah. So, but anyway, I'll be playing when this is over. So nice. Hopefully, I'll get a few games in. Yeah, it's just like uh, keep going back to it, like an abusive partner. <laughs> um. Wrapping it up on fucking the Paul brother drama just never stops. These guys are taking over everyone's fucking social media feeds, yep. whether you like tune in or not. Yep. And Nate Robinson got knocked out. Now the world's paying attention. They're on top of the world. The, the, I was saying before we started recording, the kid's fucking turned himself. He's trolled himself. Both of them have trolled their, their way into semi-legitimate Fighting careers. Dude, they, they did the, the 6 9 route, dude. He they trolled, really did. He trolled his way into the rap game. They trolled their way into fighting. And they're fighting actual yeah. fighters. Logan's know, like, fighting uh, Floyd fucking Mayweather. And, and now and, Jake's and calling try, out Connor. Trying to fight Connor. And like I was calling saying, his wife a four. A four. Super disrespectful. Bro. But like I was call saying. My, someone call my wife a four right now. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Gloves on under the table. But uh, like I was saying, Logan fighting Floyd. Get trying to. <laughs> Kind of justifies Jake fighting Connor. You know what I mean? Because C- Jake's had the more recent fight. Floyd, one of the greatest ever, but he fought Connor. You know what I'm saying? Now that Logan's fighting Floyd, the precedent's been set. It's like there's no, there's no reason that Jake couldn't fight Connor. There's no like, there's no social barrier. There's no, yeah, there's no like uh, prestige barrier. Yeah, Connor's a shit talker. You know what uh, I mean? Yeah, like it's amazing that he hasn't responded in some way that the public isn't aware of. Yeah, and you know he just. To some extent, he's like, I'm not, I'm not giving this the time of day. Like, I wouldn't blame him for he that. He has that option. He has that option. But I think, and I was saying this before, I think he's going to get... But we see, the thing is, we fucked up as a society by not doing that to the Paul brothers from the jump. Yeah. <laughs> we all have the option to ignore, ignore yeah. these clans and not, not give them to the status they are. But they're here now. Yep. They're here now. And you got to fucking... It's, you got to deal with that. We have to live with that. It's like the opposite of with Kanye. Like, Kanye got to where he is... By doing great things. Yep. And, and then he's, now he's trolling. And now he's fucking up. And it's like, <laughs> but we like we let him get there. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. I'm glad he got there, but fuck. It's yep. the opposite with the Paul brothers. Yep. Same but, with, you know. But I, got, I, I think Jake's going to take one more fight against somebody. I don't know who. The Dylan Dennis thing. He was blowing up Connor's teammate with water balloons and shit. How you going to do a drive-by on somebody? A drive-by water balloons in And the LA. interview he rolled up on, like, I don't know when this was from, but the interview he rolled up on, there was mad people. Really? Yeah. yeah, that's super disrespectful. Like interviewing this cat. That's super disrespectful. That's what I'm well, saying. Maybe, like, imagine being these fucking, like, the camera crew and all these other people just like, yo, what the fuck is going on, dude? For real. Dude, if I got my fucking, I don't know. That'd be mad embarrassing. But Dylan Dennis ain't really a striker. He's much smaller. I think Jake, if Jake fights him and beats him in a boxing match, he caught, Connor has to. You know what I'm saying? He caught one of the water balloons. Like, he started, like, he immediately, like, went through the crowd, like, right after the truck. Yeah. Like, straight up was ready to f- do whatever. And the truck starts pulling off, and he catches one of the water balloons, like fumbles it and catches it and throws it and falls down. Damn! And they were fucking clowning. That's him, embarrassing. Oh, it was that's a bad so look. Embarrassing. It was. I mean, but I. Uh, we're talking about it. Yeah, we are talking about it. So. But I think if he fights Dylan, beats him, he might. Then Connor has to. You know what I'm saying? Disrespecting my wife, beat up my teammate. I gotta. I got. Yeah. Call gotta, my wife a four and be the only follow you follow on Instagram. <laughs> oh, yeah. But beat up my teammate. <laughs> Now you, the now straw I, broken the camel's back I can't is here. Ignore this. Yeah, it's uh, whatever. Um, we'll see. We'll see if it happens. Yeah, but Jacob, what's up, dog? Where can they get us if they want to see what's happening? 
If y'all want to drop into Warzone or drop Rebirth in. Island with Josh. I'm just waiting. <laughs> I, I just always need someone to play with. At Sauce Pod, no underscore. I'm reverse boosting. The un- <laughs> respect the underscore. You get me at J-Cobb, J-A-Y underscore C-O-B-B-B, Josh. You get me at T-C-A-B-Z-Z. Dylan. You can find me on Reddit at U-T bags, you mom, 69, 420, lowercase X, capital X. And check us out on the streaming services. I forgot to say that shit. You got to check us out on the streaming services. We got a podcast. Bup, 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 bup. Every Monday.